Hi, my name is Jack Van Nuken from the Boston Sax Shop, and if you're watching this video, it means that you've either recently purchased one of our Ambassador saxophone cases or are just curious to learn more. Either way, thank you so much for watching. This has been a dream project of mine, and I'm happy to share it with you. Now, using a saxophone case is pretty straightforward. However, as the actual designer of the Ambassador case, I want to give you a couple tips um, when using your case, especially since it is new to your horn. Now one of the most important features of a good case is how well it fits the saxophone inside. The interior mold that we used for the Ambassador case is lined with a specific kind of foam that is going to be tight at first but eventually will compress to fit around all the little irregularities and things that make your particular horn special. I say all that to say that when you first put your horn in the case for the first few times, it may feel like you have to put a little bit of pressure to get it to sit down in the lower half of the mold, but that is perfectly normal and it is intentional to the design of the case. Along with that, uh, the Ambassador case has a valence or lip that covers the middle of the case when it is closed. Now when the saxophone is breaking in the foam inside, again over the first couple of weeks of use, when you close the case, you might have to put a little bit of pressure, I like to do it right here on the bell area, so that the lip of the valence covers the bottom half of the mold. You're going to feel it pop into place and that's when you can start latching the case. We recommend doing this closing before latching the case as it's going to apply the least amount of force and pressure to the latches which is going to ensure that they're going to last for the longest possible amount of time. Now the latching operation you do what you like, but I prefer to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom near the bell, both for opening and closing the case, as I believe that it again applies the least amount of tension to these latches, which are spring-loaded, and the less tension that you use over time means they are going to last longer. Now for straps, um, you can either elect to use both straps as a backpack or just one as a single strap. Either way, attaching them is the same. You take the carabiner and slide down the locking barrel mechanism, clip it into place with the carabiner opening facing outwards away from the back of the case, and then lock it back into position. Now we've also included four steel braided cables which you can use in addition to that carabiner to ensure extra protection against anything breaking on you. So uh, those go on the same way as shown in the video. Maintaining the aesthetics of your case is also easy. The exterior of our cases is actually borrowed from the automotive industry. This is very similar material to what is used on commercial car dashboards, which means that you can clean it and protect it by using Armorall or a similar product from your local auto store or, you know, hardware store. In terms of the steel parts, they are PVD coated, but this coating will scratch and you might see some silver of the steel underneath. If you want to touch that up, again, I would go to your local automotive store, pick up some matte black touch-up paint, uh, automotive grade, just apply that on there and it's going to cover up those scratches perfectly. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about your case or the cases in general, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, uh, through our website, we have a contact page, www.bostonsackshop.com. And again, thank you so much for watching.